Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to make code more reusable with this keyword. The last challenge introduced a method of duck uh, object. It used duck.name dot notation to access the value of the name property within the return statement. So here it says, basically it's just saying that we use duck.name within this function. While this is a valid way to access the object's property, this there is a pitfall here in the if the variable name changes, any code referencing the original name would need to be updated as well. In short, object in a short object definition, this it isn't a problem, but in an ob, but if an object has many references to its properties, there is a greater chance for error. A way to avoid these issues is with this the this keyword. So if we let the variable duck equal an object equal to uh, the key name pairs of name, Affleck, number of legs is two, and then the key say name is equal to the value of a function where we return the duck. Instead of saying duck dot name, we use this dot name. This is a deep talk, um, then that makes it so that we still get the exact same results. So here, um, let me just extend this so it's easier to see. They've got the function is return is equal to this. My guess is that they just want us to replace this here. And if we were to uh, console.log the uh, dog.say legs, we should get the dog has four legs. So you see it's the same as when it's dog. The dog has four legs, but this has four legs. And that just references the object to which it is a part of. Um, this is a very deep talk topic. This is very important in JavaScript. The, the greater that you can understand that the better if you were to say this dot uh, name you would get uh, spot so that wouldn't work here so we wouldn't want to do that um, say we wanted to do say name we could go function and then return the dog uh, the, the dog name is and then you could say this dot name is equal to and then we'll just put a period after that and then if we were to console dot log say name we would say uh, say name say name the dog's name is spot and console dot log the dog's legs we could say then we're returning both of the strings now that's why this is useful. You could use dog here, but then if you ever change the name of the variable, then your code is just going to break and you're gonna to have to go in and fix this. So it's better to use this because it implicitly addresses the um, higher level um, variable name rather than naming it specifically on the name. Um, if the object's name is changed to mallard, it is not necessary to find all the references to duck in the code. So yeah, if we were to change this, let dog, instead of it being dog, be like canine, then you would see that this code would all break. Oh, wait. Uh, hold on. Okay, so here we've got it as a dog, right? So let's say that we were to change with the name one, we're going to use the variable name dog, and then with the this here, we're going to use the legs, will work. Now, what happens if we change this to canine? you see the reference error, dog is not used. So because we've changed this variable, that causes it so that the dog no longer references this. However, the number of legs, which is here, the dog has four legs. Because we're using the this element, we can rename this variable at ease. If we wanted to make it, um, you know, dog E, still, the legs is still works, despite the fact that we've changed the name of the variable twice. Whereas the dog one, we would have had to update it previously to canine. Now, because we changed the name again, it wouldn't work. So instead, we want we could do doggy, but then we're just going to have the same problem sometime down the future. So we make this one uh, this, and then it'll work. And it'll work even if we go back uh, to making it dog. Now the code updates itself by itself, and both functions work. So I've just gone a little bit more in depth there. I don't think that any of uh, the only thing that you need to do is change the uh, word from this to dog in order to pass this test. But I just try to go a little bit deeper into this so that you guys can see um, the, uh, the reasoning behind this. So I hope that helps. We'll see you guys in the next lesson.